hello Theo and thank you once again for um, helping me to get to know stolen moments better um, so the first thing I noticed is that they do the intro exactly once as written not what you would expect um, uh, but the horns don't play what's written um, what's written is oh, sorry uh, yeah and you can hear that that's not what's being played what's being played is So what, in order to get that fuller sound, you're going to need to assign one of the horns, the G that is written, one of the horns an E-flat concert, and one of the horns a C concert. Likewise for the D minor, A, F, D. Likewise for the E-flat. B-flat is written, you need a G-flat and an E-flat as well. And then back down to the D, A, F, D from the top to the bottom. Um, uh, the head is pretty much as written, um, so you don't need to worry about that. But what's not written is the dynamics. If you sit there and go... It will just be tedious. It needs to be... Everybody needs to do it at the same time. Um, you might do some conducting at that point, actually, and like have your hands get bigger and smaller as you want them to get louder and softer. They're, they're used to that kind of thing. Then things really get interesting at the solo section. So it says minor blues, and it assumes that everyone knows what that is. Problem is... <laughs> There's more than one kind of minor blues because you and I have played Mr. PC and Equinox and probably another C minor blues at some point. We are used to playing a 6 5 turnaround. So in bar um, 9, there'll be an A flat 7, and then in bar 10, there'll be a G7, and then go back to the C minor. But Stolen Moments could do that, but on the record it does not. In bar 9 it goes to G7, and then in bar 10 it stays on G7. So in that way, it's a, it's a much, much more simple uh, minor blues than the kind we've been doing. But in another more accurate way, it is a much more complex minor blues. And I think it's the song that really taught me to play minor blues. Look at the first three notes of the melody after the intro. They are G, B flat, D. Now, I don't know how much music theory you've absorbed in our very little lessons, but maybe you know that that is a G minor triad. Um, so rather than just playing C blues, whole thing, there's a more complex way of doing it that instead, go ahead and play with that G minor 7 arpeggio. You can hear that that's pretty and is much more in character, in the character of the piece than, you know. Um, so over the C minor chord, play in with the G um, uh, G minor arpeggio, G, B flat, D, F, and then likewise move that whole business up a fourth when we get to the F triad. So um, C, E flat, G, B flat. It's that sound. I actually don't know what to do over the G. Um, I'm going to have to listen to it. But I have a hypothesis, um, and that is to play B diminished. Look how, so that's B, D, F, A flat, and look how nicely that resolves. I 
think that's in character of the piece, but I'm not really sure. Okay. After the um, solos, um, you're going to need to cue. Okay, we're going back to the intro now. And I'd give everyone a one, two, a one, two, three, four. At least they do that on the record. And it'd be cool if we did that. Um, but the drums are different um, after the solos than before. The drums play this cool business on the brushes. Um, listen to it. It's at seven minutes and four seconds on the recording. Um, after that return to the intro, they play the head twice, as you would. Um, but then, if you look at the very bottom, you'll see this little circle with a cross in it, and that's the coda. Um, uh, and so they repeat this figure. Uh, and then they go, it says writ on the bottom, that means retard or slow. And then they play, what I have written is F sus5, it might be different in our sixth edition real book, and then it resolves back to a C minor. But the melody note is still this F. Um, so uh, again, these are suggestions. Feel free to do the arrangement however you want. Um, and there's nothing wrong with playing the blues scale over, over stolen moments, but you can get some of the exceptional beauty that is in this song and uniqueness that is in this song if you take those suggestions. All right, um, really looking forward to playing this with you.